Hello! Good mythical morning, my nation. Welcome to Coffee Time with Cobra! So, here's my coffee cup. Yes, it is rather a large coffee cup. I'm having to put up with quite a lot of um, stupid people this morning. You may notice that there's something different with the mohawk. I just got out of the shower. Nice and clean. I need to try them a bit. Um, so, yeah. What's been going on in Cobra's, Cobra's life? Uh, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a vlog. Mostly uh, about 24, 48 hours. And, well, here goes. Um, I swapped out my headset for a different E Blue Cobra. I think these are the IPM 9, 9, 916s. These ones? These are 916s. Uh, simply because the other ones that I did get, after a while they started to pinch the cartilage on my outer lobes here and my inner lobes down here. And I mean, it was causing me such discomfort I couldn't sleep. Every time my head hit a pillow, it was like, ah, son of a bitch. You know, it, it really did hurt. So the wife said, you know what? Here, trade me. So we're, we're trying this on a trial basis and if this doesn't work out I'm just going to get me another set of the 707s if I can I mean they've stopped making the 707s they were that good uh, and they stopped making the 7 this one does have a USB um, audio DAC amp just like the 707s um, so yeah that, that that's going to be cool um, let me just move that out of the way that's a secret project that you're not supposed to know about anyway guys um, what's going on uh, I'm still doing the whole Road to League of Legends thing. That's going to be going on today. Uh, so we're going to be doing a, a Road to Rank 30 today. What I'm thinking about doing is probably doing like a 24-hour live stream where all it is is League to see how close I can get to Rank 30. And maybe, maybe use a couple of EXP boosters, maybe a couple of IP boosters to get there. And um, so, yeah, that, that's what I've got. I'm thinking about doing for, for League, for League of Legends. As for uh, Infestation, the new Z, um, I've decided to make that into like an episodic thing. Uh, basically, each episode is going to be a mini story within itself that, that's not... Um, some of the stories will be intertwined, but the stories themselves aren't related at all. Um, and so the first story is going to be an, an introductory into the area. Basically, what it's going to start off. I, I'll just let you guys watch the episode. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to, each episode is going to be about thirty to forty-five minutes long, um, and it's going to be recorded on our own private Infestation War Z server. So none of this we've been kicked out because someone else got whitelisted on a server that we are currently playing on. Um, but what I want to do is get some footage recorded here soon. Um, so yeah, and I'll be using OBS to do that. I used to use XSplit, but for some reason the newer versions of XSplit are really pegging out my CPU for no fucking reason other than just to peg it out. I swear to God there's like some bit mining software or something going on in the back end. Back end. But uh, again, it's just it's not me saying anything. There's nothing to that. I'm just saying it to say it. Because I'm stupid like that. But like I said, um, as for League, I, I, I am thinking about seriously adding it into the rotation since uh, the, the, the foobar that happened over at uh, uh, Ritu about H and G and the H build and whatnot. As I like to call it, the horrid build. Um, simply because, oh yeah. We want less sway, so we'll give you more sway. Uh, um, less, more, less, more, L less, please. We'll give you a shit ton. You have ineffectively, Rita has ineffectively made recon completely fucking useless. There. You've made squad gunners completely fucking useless, especially if you're German, because the MG42 and the MG34 are just unusable now. Just unusable. Completely unusable, especially if the target is moving while you're shooting, because you just... Ah, fuck, why won't 
the gun, get on target. It, it's just, no. You're fighting too much with the gun, more than anything else. Uh, it's just, 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 nah, governor. Just big old fucking, fuck fucking, fucking, nope. It is that awkward. But, with that being said, um, there's a lot of things that's been going on, i.e. with the Baroness's health. She's doing fine, guys. Thanks for asking. Thanks for worrying about it during the live stream and stuff. She's doing great now. Um, her mouth is healing very, very nicely. Uh, and I do mean nicely. Um, we Yes, we did recently did buy a horse. Uh, he, his name is Shadow. Um, simply because he's an older horse. He's, in, he's, in his, he's above the age of 10, so he's an older horse. Reason why we did that is because the Baroness... Before I met her, guys, she used to do PRC, yeah, pro, pro rodeo something. And it, it, she used to be pro. She was sponsored by Logan Coach and Dodge Motor and, and Dodge, and, and, and she was good. She was. She was the best around. Trust me, she she. I've seen some of her trophies. I've seen some of her awards. I've seen, you know, I I, I found, like a whole bunch in cardboard boxes and I'm like, what the heck are these? And she goes, it's like first place, first place, second place, first place, first place. I'm like, why aren't these on display? And one night during one of one of Baroness's self-esteem issues that she did, and she does have self-esteem, we all do, she took a baseball bat to most of her trophies and destroyed them, which actually hurt me because those are something I would definitely be proud of proud of, proud in, you name it, proud, period. So, what I decided to do was, and it was just happenstance, the night before, uh, emotionally I broke down on Discord and told some of my inner circle, uh, some of the things that's been going on with me, and one of them, uh, 60s, mentioned that, uh, well, you know, now that you've let go of this negativity, there's a void in you, and let whatever positivity comes your way fill that void. And that's what I did. I, I went to my local family dollar to get some medications, uh, mostly uh, some melatonin so I can sleep because I'm at melatonin, uh, some melatonin, some vitamins and a few other things. And this old lady and this old man came in and they were like, excuse me, who owns that gold truck? And that's mine. I'm like, um, it's mine. Why? What's up? And the lady's like, the dog that's in there, what is that? And I'm like, that's a pit bull American bulldog mix. It was one of my puppies. It was Montgomery. And she was like, Oh, he is beautiful. And we just struck up a conversation. And uh, I, I like to spread pit bull awareness. Um, I'm sick and tired of people seeing or hearing the word pit bull and going, Hoo! you know, pit bulls will not harm you. Okay? Period. Okay? If it, it, It's not about the breed, it's how they're raised. Okay? Just like with a human being. You can be a kind person, you can be a douchebag. You can be a good guy, you can be a hood rat. You can be, you know, they're, 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 there's white guys, there's trader trash. You know, they're, they're, there's there's Mexicans and then they're, there's spicarinos. You know, you, you, they're, there's a whole slew of what you can be. Well, same with dogs, okay? I want to try and spread the word of pit bull awareness, okay? I own a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. I own pit bulls. I own half bull breeds. I, whenever our, our, our city, has issues with a bull breed, they don't contact the the, the 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 dog catcher anymore. They contact me. This is on 24/7. They contact me, and I go out and I look at them and I'll tell them, okay, he is. And because when it comes to the bull breed, I'm 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 pretty knowledgeable. I wouldn't say I'm I know everything, but I'm pretty knowledgeable, and I can usually tell within the first five to ten minutes. Their breed, their genealogy breed, i.e., their grandfather, their grandparents, their parents, and then them. Whether they're red nosed Hawaiian, um, whether they're, uh, 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 let's see, red nosed Hawaiian, you've got Montana Blues, you've got uh, uh, Cali Grays, you've got so many different subspecies, subbreeds of pit bull. And some breeds, when you do cross them, they, it does do stuff due to inbreeding and whatnot. It will fuck with the dog's head. Okay, but that's due to uh, 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 the, the, the the breeds themselves. 
I, if you take a, a Cali white and you mix it with an, uh, an Ohio blue, there's a higher chance that somewhere down the line, maybe within five, six generations, they are somewhat related, cousins, distant cousins. And so you're gonna get what's known as gene, gene mismatch, which means you're gonna have either birth defects, stillborns, or worse. They're gonna have uh, uh, psychosis conditions, i.e. that's when the dog doesn't understand what's going on, i.e. like nervous ticks, like, you know, stuff like that, and that, that will freak an owner out, because they're like, what the fuck is wrong with my dog, you know? Because most people don't see a dog as a, 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 a as a family member, they just see a dog as, oh, it's just a dog, you know, it, it's just whatever. I see every single one of my dogs as family, as my children, every single one, even even our stray that walked in, kissy girl who's going to a very good loving home, by the way, guys. Thank you for asking about her. She's going to a very good loving home. But at the end of the day, guys, when it comes down to pit bull awareness, educate yourselves, guys, seriously. And I'm not talking about typing in pit bull attacks and shit like that or, you know, just <sighs> go to your local police canine unit. Go to your local, local dog shelter ask them if they have any pit bulls there's a high chance that they do go interact with them talk to them look at their mannerisms look at the the the, the emotions on their face you saw my last uh, uh uh coffee time you saw braddock's face he was just all static and happy and wiggly as jello why because that's what he does he's very facial expressive if he's happy he's happy if he's sad he's sad he will let you know Every dog breed will let you know. Okay? You just gotta look. If you fear anything, confront that fear. Confront it. Confront that fear. It's like when a race car driver gets into an accident. That is the biggest fear race car drivers have, is the accident, is the crash. Because they don't know if the next car they're gonna get in is gonna do the same thing or worse with me when I when I got into my car accident I'm talking ages ago back in England when I got into my car accident for a long time I wouldn't get in a car not even a cab nothing I would just get on a bus if, the, if a bus couldn't directly go to that route I wouldn't go and I'm trying to get over that fear even now I, I now own the Ford Focus that's outside I haven't driven it once yet. I've got to put a new battery and alternator in it, which I will be doing here in a couple of weeks. But once I, even if I've got the car f fixed and fired up and driving, there's a huge chance I'm not going to get behind that wheel for probably till near March, near my birthday. Not because of anything other than, oh, the snow or whatever. I've got trucks, I've got an expedition, I've got a Jeep, you know, I've got vehicles to, with the snow. No, 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 it has to do with the fact that it's in here. Confront your fears, guys. I'm gonna be confronting my fears. In fact, I'm gonna be recording me confronting my fears with both this camera and a whole bunch of GoPros. I'm gonna have them mounted in the car, even mounted outside the car. I'm going to be confronting my fears head on, head on, do you understand, head on, and once I've confronted my fears and moved on past them and everything else, who knows, sky's the limit, <coughs> enough babies! Who knows, guys? I might even start doing coffee time with Cobra on the road, you know? Grab a couple of GoPros and just record as I'm Shut driving up. to wherever, you know? So, anyway, this video's run on too long. I'm gonna end it here. I will see you all later on today. Today's Sunday. I will see you all later on today with some Sunday night League of Magic, uh, League of Magic, League of Legends, guys. Uh, so yeah, till then, take care, my Cobras, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.